Hello everyone, Krypton here and today I will be showing you how to make the depth of field effect you saw in my last clip live stream and let's start off by starting Half-Life Advanced Effects and um, launch your game so execute your movie making config and just type in the following commands then for shl tv1 hood draw 0 and cl observer crosshair 0 I have a special demo set up for you today so let's play our demo view demo toot and um, here we have the demo uh, let's just uh, an useful, a useful trick uh, the one I prefer doing cam paths is I bind mouse 3 with merv zoom start and bind mouse 4 merv zoom stop so I get this zoomed in camera effect without losing any quality like I would if I zoomed in Vegas for example it's combined with the depth of field effect this looks awesome uh, it's like a real camera footage so just keep to a part where we can see some characters here for example this would be very good to make a camera <laughs> well, let's just something like this where I have a uh, player zoomed in front and some other players and boxes in the background for example this something from this position and uh, if we go to events add cam path get time get view set the flex to one just play it out for let's say a second something and right here something like that should be good go to cam path get time get view leave the flex to zero this time I'm pretty sure you know how to make a cam path let's see what this turns out to be yep should be great for depth of field just go to the first point go two frames backwards add stuff text start and go one frame forward add stuff text merv record movie start go to the last point in your camp path just go to the last point see the time scope uh go to go one frame forward and add stuff text merv record movie stop so and uh, now we want to type in the comments for recording the depth of field first up type in merv movie file name uh, i'm just going to use d toot merv movie fps i'm going for tutorial purposes i'm going to set this to 200 and of course you would want to use uh, as high as fps you use anytime you make a clip depending on the last use and merv uh, the comment for exporting uh, depth of field is Merv Movie Depth Dump. So if you're going to use an FPS of uh, 100 or below 100, I strongly suggest you use Depth Dump 1. Uh, s the, the problem with Depth Dump 1 is it can be imported into Virtual Dump and Saved, so you have to import it directly into Vegas or After Effects. And they don't they can't they don't have the possibility to import um, uh, image sequences at a higher FPS than 100. So uh, if you're going to use uh, Merv Movie FPS 100 or below, use Depth Dump 1. But if you're not like I did, I set it to 200. Use Merv Movie Depth Dump 2. It's uh, importable into Virtual Dump, so we can save it as an AVI. Use Velocity on it and import it in After Effects. Okay, so those are the comments. Let's record our camera I'm just gonna play this zoom in on my mouse 3 and you'll notice that a recording with a depth dump on is uh, very slower than normal recording the reason it's obvious it has to record both the normal footage and the uh, depth dump at the same time and it takes quite a while okay so uh, this should be over now uh, we have now we have our footage we can exit half of advanced effects and um, open up virtual dub file open video file uh, as you can see I already done this so in toot, d toot we have 
in take 0, 0 folder we have you'll notice we'll have two folders now and like when recording normal only one folder you get only one folder and in here we have in all we have the normal footage in an image sequence and in depth though we have the depth so first we have to random render them out as a an AVI file frame rate set the frame rate you know how the process goes set the frame rate to what you used I use a lagarith lossless codec it's much much faster and uh, gets a really smaller file size and uh, doesn't lose any of the qualities save as AVI D2 going to call this our original and now we import the depth dump as you can see uh, what the closer the things are to the camera the darker they are S uh, that means um, you know the depth dump is basically used as an masking for the blur effect in after effects uh, and um, the darker the things are uh, the less the it affects them so the darker the things are the closer they are to the camera the less blurred they will be as you can notice they this and um, I'm just going to save this as an ABI file uh, let's call it depth <laughs> okay well that's it now we go to Vegas if needed, if you're going to use any velocity at all, uh, open up your Vegas <coughs> and uh, just import these two files into Vegas, so in Vegas, and to the timeline. We have the original and the depth. So if we place them on top, you can see that they're perfectly matched. Now, if you're going to use velocity, for example, on this clip, insert velocity speed it up slow it down here um, no delete this set it just set it this to I don't know 893 something like this so if we check this out we are looking pretty cool and then now we want to get the depth to match the the original clip so if if we actually you know, they are not matched here, for example. Why are they even matched? Okay, so for example here they aren't matched, so as this is speeded up and this is a normal speed, so if we uh, copy, uh, we go to the original clip where we use velocity, right-click copy and right-click on the depth, paste event attributes, and then, then they will be perfectly matched. For example here, here and now we select them both right click and um, go to uh, go to switches and to change the smart resample to disable resample a quite useful trick to disable fl frame blending when uh, exporting to other ca to other programs after effects or boujou for tracking um, now we just take the first clip the depth clip and um, render it out. We set this to video for Windows AVI custom frame rate to 100 for best exporting video format uncompressed. Disable any audio video rendering quality best. And we go into the toot, make new folder, call it After Effect, and call this Depth. So if you render this out, it should be pretty fast. <coughs> okay, so now close this, we delete the depth video and just render the original as well. Call this original. <coughs> yes, this takes just a little bit more time since it has more details, more stuff to process. So start after effects now. I don't know what the hell is wrong with the CS5, it takes ages to load. Man, this is me off. So that's probably the reason every time I'm going to use it, I start 
After Effects before any other program, so it can be loaded, fully loaded uh, when I need to use it. Um, so I won't wait and rage. Because I do rage a lot when editing. God, that's a lot of plugins. I didn't even realize After Effects had that many. Okay, so now that we are in After Effects, you just go to Project, Import File, go to D, uh, Tut, open up, go to After Effects, you see you have the Depth AVI and the original AVI that we just rendered out of Vegas. So, open them both, drag them to a composition, and um, make sure you put the original under the depth, so a better view. What I would do next is go to the depth one, go to effects, color correction and add levels. And just to <coughs> add the con just to make the contrast better for the bigger contrast for uh, better depth. For example, something like that, you just increase the white and uh, darken the blacks, you know, make better contrast and uh, that's that. So I'm just going to composition and never mind. I can't find I can't find it here and um, just Control Shift C and uh, it's pre -composed. Just pre compose the depth AVI and by default it's going to be set to leave all attributes in original. Change that to move all attributes into the new composition. Click OK. So it's going to make a uh, new composition with only the depth in it. That's what we want, and leave the composition here with no effects. So, if we go to the original, uh, add a new effect in the original, blur and sharpen. Uh, you can use Gaussian blur, I think, uh, but um, to for a faster outcome. But lens blur is the right type of blur you need for depth thump. Uh, well, it does take longer time to render, but uh, trust me, it's worth it. So. If you see the lens blur here, uh, we added it into the original. You have this depth map layer, which is the, basically the depth map you're going to using the depth thump we just exported from Half Advanced Effects. As you can see, we have one depth AVI comp and two original. We use the comp, and you can see nothing's changed. But if we disable this video, you can pretty much notice the blur. If you can, you can see here. This is fully in focus, and this is blurred out. And um, it, it looks really good. It's a really, really good effect. Uh, just adds a little bit more of that realistic touch to the game, more professional touch. Let's say, if you know how to use it well. And um, well, now we just render out. Go to Composition, Make Movie or Control M. Just set it up where you want to export it. For example, let's say um, to it. Call this Final, and let's render it out. Uh, as you can see, this takes quite the time to render out. As I said, you can use Gaussian Blur. I never tried it, but I'm pretty sure you can use it uh, for a faster outcome. But worse looking results. I strongly recommend if you have the patience to wait that you use lens blur. And uh, now we just wait and see how the final effect works in. Just add some colors in Vegas, render it out, and that's that. Oh yeah, and one more thing, if your random access memory or RAM, RAM, let's call it RAM, 
is quite low for example if you have two or four gigabytes of ram i would strongly recommend not to be using this effect uh it does it can quite overload the ram when rendering causing your pc to crash or something so if you don't have at least six gigabytes of ram uh, uh, don't use this effect if you don't want to encounter pc problems okay now this is almost finished yes now this is finished let's just go and uh, import it into vegas see how it looks Oh, I just imported the original again. Final. This looks pretty good actually. Let's add some colors to it. For example, just color corrector. Some levels on it. Just decrease the saturation a bit maybe. Something like that. Decrease gamma and just, you know, just mess around with the colors. Make Get some nice colors. Yeah, for example, that so the effect is quite more visible now. And if you can, as you can see, well, I just made pretty awesome clean colors, too. Okay, um, that's that. Um, this is the effect we get, and um, well, that's that. Um, see you in the next tutorials, guys, and goodbye.